All right. Hi, everyone. I'm finally getting around to creating my second video on the topic of vertical and horizontal tornado charts, how to. Uh, my last video went a little long, admittedly, but if you managed to sit through it, you learned how to create a tornado or chart, either vertical or horizontal, uh, by creating these two tables here. Uh, but fortunately for some, uh, there is arguably a simpler method uh, to doing this. Uh, you will still have to create a table like this one here, uh, but you won't have to create t the range we made in I through N here. Okay, uh, so again, after you make a chart that has all your possible combinations uh, listed, year, gender, party, uh, your count, and then a secondary count that turns half of your numbers negative, uh, whatever variable you're using that you want to be on the opposite uh, side of the center point. Uh, you can simply go and select uh, within the range, go to pivot tables. We can just go ahead and create a new worksheet uh, by having everything all adjacent to each other and having a blank space here knew what my table range was, A2 to G66, and I'm going to use a new worksheet. Hit OK. OK. And what I'll want, if you haven't used the pivot table before, it's really simple. Uh, for my chart, what I'm going to want is year in row labels first, gender second, and so this establishes the parent-child relationship you have uh, all the genders uh, for each category under each year. And then going across the top, I'm going to put the party, either Democrat or Republican. And what I'm actually calculating is the count to. And I want it to be the sum. So again, uh, count to was just whatever count was, unless you had a Republican in which count column F then became a negative number. So it just flips it across the zero point. Okay. So once I have that, uh, there's some interesting manipulations you can also additionally do with a pivot table that I wasn't originally aware of until later. I'm going to go to options. No, I want design. I'm going to get rid of uh, all subtotals. Okay. I got you, sorry. Uh-huh. Okay. Going to design, I'm going to get rid of uh, grand totals. And I want to line these up. So I did show in tabular form. You'll know the dark little line there is in line with the lighter shades. Okay. And I also want a gap in between. So how I do that, blank rows, insert a blank line after each item. OK. Um, and that actually pretty much does it, uh, surprisingly. We can just, from here, click inside my pivot table. Let's go with a horizontal chart. And there you have it. Now, this isn't a regular chart. This is a pivot chart. Uh, so small distinction, uh, you're going to have these buttons here that just allows you to filter if you just want Democrats or Republicans. Ta -da. Uh, it allows you to make those manipulations. You can manipulate the years here, uh, gender, so forth. Uh, we're only calculating one value, so that doesn't change. But uh, yeah, that's uh, really the most simple method possible for doing this and of course it works just as well if you go to insert bar stack bar now you have your vertical uh, chart um, notice here that uh, when we do, do it straight from the pivot table it doesn't care that there's a space here there's no space in between extra space between 2001 male and 2002 female in order to force that hand uh, we're going to have to get uh, a little bit more manual again, but not as much as last time. What I'm going to do is simply create a table by going equals that 
OK. And I'm going to go as far as I need to. OK. Delete that. And I'm going to carry this down. Interesting. Um, can't just double click, apparently. I'm going to go all the way down. OK. That looks good. And then in another table, I'm just going to do a little bit of cleanup. OK. And then here, I just need to do a simple formula equals if this equals 0, then I want nothing. So I use double quotes. Otherwise, uh, whatever it reported, close parenthesis. So small adjustment. Go on down. There we go. And what was the last adjustment I had to make here? You For the variables that are going to be along the bottom, you want to raise the uh, title there if you want to be super lazy. So I'll go ahead and do that. OK. Uh, this is still pointed towards E4, and this is still pointed towards F4. But if I go here, control shift down, that's not going to do it quick enough. Holding down shift, hitting the bottom corner, insert. Wow, did that actually not work? I think I just need to switch this. No. Oh, I think. Uh, interesting. Insert. There we go. So uh, for the labels that you're going to have going across here, the, the gender and the year, uh, when you're selecting your area, just don't bother uh, with the labels uh, here and here. Just select. That's why you want a blank space here. And Excel will automatically know how this chart should uh, look. OK, so that was pretty easy. It uh, gets you to uh, probably the desired effect a heck of a lot quicker than what we did here. But it's always good to know multiple ways of getting to the same place with Excel in case one method doesn't work for you in your very specific situation. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys use these charts. Um, I want to see it used more often. Please leave comments uh, like reading what people have to say about these charts. If you have any questions, uh, please let me know. I'm going to upload this to my OneDrive uh, very shortly uh, so people can just take this as an example and just simply download it. But I hope you are, were able to follow along as well. Uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Uh, my next video is actually going to once again incorporate the use of a pivot table very similar to this in order to do something else that I think is very cool and makes life a lot simpler uh, for certain situations. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.